seriously popular. Now we all know they're flesh and bone, the same blood, sweat and tears. So why do famous people seem to really grind some gears? Idiot! Waste of space. What the hell are they wearing masks? Who even are they? Stupid hair. They look all right, Doc. So whenever you feel lost and need a common sense, there's one place we all know to go straight to the comments. Welcome to Straight to the Comments, I'm Josh Peters. And I'm Archie Manners, and this is the podcast that takes a deep, mysterious look into the world of Mail Online comments. And while looking at those comments, we read them back to the very people those comments are about. To see whether they can identify which stories the comments have been left under. And my goodness, the comments are a veritable smorgasbord of joy. Everything from Holly Willoughby's fashion choices to the universal condemnation of Gary Lineker for being a complete, um, yeah. I, I quite like Gary Lineker. The comment section of the Mail Online does not. Now, believe it or not, Archie, there are four million comments left a month under Mail Online stories. Some of them are beautiful, insightful, and some of them just don't make any sense. It's a, it's a real representation of Britain. You've got those that should frankly be in an asylum hospital, and then you've got those who should be running the country. So, Archie, how this works is our celebrity guests come on. I'm going to read both you and them comments from stories about them. Your job, alongside them, is to try and figure out what those stories are. Love it. It sounds like an absolutely flawless concept and brilliant format, and I'm delighted to be here earning money and making it. <laughs> yeah, it's great. So our guests are actually waiting outside, but uh, you don't know who they are, do you? No, I have absolutely no idea who the guests are this week, or indeed any week. So, um, and to be honest, quite often I don't know who they are even when they do come in. As always, here is a word cloud based on the comments left about them on Mail Online. The bigger the word, the more that comment appeared on the Mail Online. What fun. The biggest word on here is Strictly, so it's obviously someone who's done Strictly Come Dancing, either as a celebrity or as a professional or as a judge. The yeah. second one is Brother, the third is Love Island. That doesn't narrow it down. In the Venn diagram of people who've done Love Island, Strictly Come Dancing, the world over being brothers, that's basically got to be AJ and Curtis Pritchard. Unless yeah. Craig Revel Hallward's got a brother who's somehow been on Love Island. Well, let's find out. Let's have a look. It's AJ and Curtis! Hey! I like the energy. Stoke on Trend's finest, AJ and Curtis are both dancers featuring in different versions of Strictly, choreographers and reality show stars. Curtis appeared in Series 5 of Love Island, while AJ is featured in both Britain's Got Talent and I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. Welcome, AJ and Curtis! Now, you're not twins, but you are brothers, but you, you yes. bear a very striking resemblance, and you've come in matching shirts. They don't, they matching don't wear shirts. Like, they look completely different. <laughs> no, they one, don't. One looks about 15 years older than the other. <laughs> and it's the wrong way around. Yeah, I was going to say, and I'm the younger one. Are you but... the younger one? Yeah, I'm the younger one. So I who's know. your dad? The milkman, we always believe. Yeah. <laughs> I've always said this to be fair, because everyone's so small in my family, bar me. Yeah, I don't know AJ where I came from. Saying, you are quite a small man. Well, I'm, I'm four four compact. Eight. I'm like yeah, diamonds. He's <laughs> small and secure and strong, valuable. <laughs> AJ, I wouldn't take that. I wouldn't say you're small. I'd say you're regular height. I'd say you're Archie's height. No, on his no, rider for this, it was, can I have a booster seat, please? <laughs> yeah. That was. Yeah. Hey, I think they asked you to put your chair up, not mine. Let's just they, go back I, to that. They actually did, to I've got a long body, short legs. But that just sounds even weird. The ultimate question is, who is the better dancer? Right, well, who's the, got more trophies? That's right. that's all that really matters in life, isn't it? Technically, I will go with that. AJ is the better dancer, but oh, he's definitely more famous for dancing. Out. I will give him that. He is more famous. Kurt's for dancing. more famous in like other countries for different things. Yeah. What, you, yes. what, 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 <laughs> what have you been up to in different countries? That is very true. Actually, I've got a couple of things that went viral. Uh, celebs go dating. Me and Chloe had a lovely little dance on one of the beds one time, and that hit about hundred million views. That on, on which website? <laughs> India. India loves you. Apparently, we were um, shagging. No, we weren't even. We no. had we had half clothes on, I think. Were, were you we, doing? <laughs> were you were we just, you just dancing I... provocatively, and then what do they call the... it? Love Island, doing bits. Well, no, I believed I was Magic Mike for a moment. <laughs> So I really went full in, you know, went yeah. with the, like, the, the slide across the floor, you know, the spread the legs yeah. to really get down dirty and deep, but without obviously uh, <laughs> touching anything and all consent and everything. Right. Yeah. You said that to my face, would you? Anyway, moving on to the show. <laughs> yes. Guys, <laughs> how it works is I read out the comments on a story and you, alongside Archie, have to guess from those comments what the story is. Yeah. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. But full disclosure, we, we've known AJ for a few years. Yeah. So we know quite a lot about his life. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Ooh. Now, these stories might be about either of you. Uh, see if you can recognize the moment in either of your lives. Archie is going to help or hinder, as he has got no ideas what the stories are either. I have a blank script. It's redacted. Good to know. Are okay. you guys ready? We're ready. But is that. Archie <laughs> in intentially hindering or just... Depends yeah. how interesting just you are, really. Side uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, just, just, I'll just be sniping from the sidelines. Okay, so the first story. This is the first comment from Georgia Tara, who's in Holland Park. Curtis, meet your future. <laughs> Curtis, meet your future. It sounded so, almost eerie. Georgia from Holland Park, more to the point. There's a strange accent for Georgia from Holland Park. Yeah. <laughs> Georgia from Holland Park is, is clearly changed sex. Curtis, meet your future. Do you know the random thing? I've got this sort of weird image in my head of Curtis walking past Holland Park and she steps in front of me and goes, meet your future. Yeah. <laughs> like, but this is what I have in my head. But it's not even a story. It's just some weird like, with, In a really deep voice with an Adam's apple and a wig. Okay, let's go on to the next comment yeah. from N Hart. Don't see any resemblance. Only see publicity wanted. <laughs> So this has got to be some kind of story about you looking like someone. Mm. Who do you? Who does Curtis look like? Do you think, AJ? Right, I have who, who, been told from a side oh, no, angle. No, he doesn't. I no. what, do look like Captain America from a side angle. Who's Captain America? Uh, the producers are now laughing in the mics at me. <laughs> let's let's give you the third comment right. from Glen Rowe in Green Island. Hilarious. Totally looks like Curtis. Yeah, so I was right. It's some, it's some kind of resemblance. <laughs> right. Okay. Do you have a look alike, a doppelganger? I. Apparently, you yes, do. Yes, I think I do. Kurt's Guy in Love Island, Island looks, that looked like me that came on on a series. He's never been on Love Island. Yeah. No, the person who looks like Curtis. Oh. I was going to go because every year they book the same cast, but just with different, different names. Yeah. yeah. They kind of all really look the same, don't, don't they? I know but... what this is. Who yeah. else do you look like? I'm going to have to probably give you a clue. Yeah, please give I us a think, clue. I, I'm hint. genuinely stuck. Um, I can't think. He's very funny and he's quite chatty. Archie Manners. No. <laughs> uh, a he's a chatty man. Oh, you look like Alan Carr. <laughs> yes, you do. That's brilliant. <laughs> what? That's fantastic. You do look just like Alan Carr. <laughs> do I actually look yes, like Alan Carr? Yes, and I mean that as offensively as it sounds. Yeah. 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 The headline How is, the headline like is Alan, Carr? Alan Carr 43 shocks fans with his uncanny resemblance to Love Island star Curtis Pritchard 24 <laughs> in throwback me at 20 photo challenge. And I've seen the photo. You I wouldn't have believe not it. Seen this photo. Alan Carr was a hunk. Get this photo I, I, I haven't I seen this. Oh, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. This uh, is. This, I actually remember that, this now. Oh <laughs> my god! That I actually does look do remember just this. Like you. you know what? I, I agree with that as well. I, I full on agree with that. <laughs> do, this, do that smile quickly for us. Yeah. Yeah. No. It, What's <laughs> his, his, so now you've seen your future. We now know what Georgia from Holland Park was talking about. Yeah. Well, I, know, I mean, he's very successful, so I can't complain. Yeah, he's also butters. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, like he's not good. I could say this to his face. He's not. He's a, he's an ugly old queen, isn't he? Like, when did <laughs> money can buy your happiness, right? <laughs> when did uh, this article come out? Well, how old are you now? You were twenty four when it was written. Twenty seven. I feel like that so, was uh, just after Love Island. That was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got Pretty it. Okay. After. Well, great. I we love got... how Alan Carr's and gone it's... back and found a photo. <laughs> he sat there scrolling <laughs> on his phone. Yes, like, for some I'm sure it's I look my like hair. him. It's my hair. That's what it is. Though, yeah, it's not the hair. Big hair. It's not the hair. It's not the hair. It's the face. It's a slightly chubby face. That Alan Carr has. No, look, he does. If you've got Archie making fun of your physical appearance, you don't have much you're to worry about. You're fine. No. <laughs> Hold your horses. Okay, moving on to the next story. The first comment is from Sim0219, and the location just says near you. Can I have AJ's underwear, please, for a friend? <laughs> What? <laughs> is this a request you get off? You know what's weird is it's near you. What? Where am I? Uh -huh. I is is this something to do with Strictly? Well, it's definitely something to do with something like that. Yeah. Mm. Is this something to do with? Or is no. it SAS showering? <laughs> Let's go with the next comment. The next comment is from Simon B. Somewhere in Antarctica. I don't change mine until they get crusty. <laughs> so this is AJ's underwear. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently he doesn't change, change it until it gets crusty. How often do you change your underwear? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> do you often get requests on Instagram for like underwear and things like that? See, now I've had requests for... I've had some really weird AJ. stuff. Oh, really? I think the weirdest one we were doing the arena tour was like at the O2. And I don't even know why production allowed us to get through like security barriers. And I got sent a bag and it had a teddy bear in there with a nappy on. And the nappy looked like it 
wasn't been fresh. Used. No way. And there was comments wrote all on the nappy, like send me a message and and the seat number wrote down on the nappy and her mobile number wrote on the nappy. I was like, who in security thought, you know what, we're gonna just gonna allow this to get through to you? I don't know, it's quite an ingenious way to get But there was also actually revolted. Yeah. There was also your pooey nappy on a teddy bear. Homemade food in there. No. Who would have thought no, to yeah. allow homemade food? What were they, like chocolate frosted logs? <laughs> <laughs> if it's not from Gales, I don't touch it. Still no one got any idea what this is about. It's no. obvious, I reckon it talks of a showering scene on, on SAS. I feel like on SAS, you know, because yeah, we, always... we were both naked. That sounds even worse. Yeah, no, no, because yeah, on SAS, you're in, like, in the Middle East, we kind of get sand, dirt, everything. You get to it and then not all want to shower. Actually, you weren't actually in the SAS. No, so we, we, we did SAS. We did SAS. We, yeah. SAS. Yeah. we were in the Middle East. <laughs> we were just did acting ISIS together? for a long, for a long <laughs> weekend. <laughs> Shot a couple of them, These came back over. classified missions that we're about to tell you. Did you do SAS together? We did do it together, SAS Who Dares Wins. You're on the Channel 4 show where they take celebrities and... And there's a scene at the end and then it's kind of like in the shower. Like, I've taken all my clothes off. I just need to get this dirt off me and are throwing everything everywhere and maybe somebody wants the underwear i don't know i well, can't remember this thank clearly. you thank you for that story but that that is not, not yeah, the no, correct answer no. we're gonna go on to comment number three from ronnie reggie from lancaster never heard of anyone catching calvin by their undies so you've got crusty underwear. Sounds like you're smelling them because that's one way of getting COVID. And either way, this has to be obviously in the past two, two years, really. Two to three years. I'm going to so. give you a clue. Uh, this involved Jordan North, the story. From Help I okay. Sex My Boss. So it's what on I'm a Celeb. Oh, yeah. So then it's obviously like... What is probably another shower scene to be honest? God, is this have you made an entire career out of getting your kit off on national television? No, because there was that story, wasn't there? Like, I thought I'd closed all the curtains and then I've I've got naked in the shower as you would do and wash yourself. Oh, and you are fully on camera. And I'm yeah. fully on camera, I didn't realise. And yeah. then putting all the clothes back on and I'd thrown some underwear away. So <laughs> I think it must have come from that sort of story, that yeah. sort of parameter. The answer is, I'm a celebrity boss's remind stars to wash to keep COVID at bay after AJ Pritchard and Jordan North admitted they wore the same pants for three days. That's revolting. But hey, what choice do you have I, in yeah. the jungle? Really he wasn't have... in the jungle. He was in Wales. He was on the kind of Lego version of I'm a Celebrity. <laughs> he was me out of here. 40 minutes away from our actual <laughs> home as well. Of, yeah. if, if, if I was in Australia, I'd be Mom like, okay, come over and done it's going to be warm. <laughs> you can wash them and then you can <laughs> let them dry. I don't, AJ, I don't, I don't, 40 I don't, minutes I away. Tech going, <laughs> We're just going to pause now because Mrs. Pritchard's going to come and take AJ's dirty laundry away. I'm on your side here. I don't think there's anything wrong with re-wearing your pants if you're on I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. I think there's certain things that going to happen and if it's going to happen that's definitely one of them on that 100%. show i'm with you because somebody cleaned their underwear in one of the trays that we cooked with oh. and i was like who did that that's a no-no that is a bit that's a no-no who was it who did that i mean just a bit of extra seasoning was... really for the food who was it? that is jessica um plumber and she cleaned her underwear in one of the mess things <laughs> he's still to... angry about it look and at his then, face. <laughs> it, even well. when it got to the point of it, even shane ritchie was peed off about it he was like that's <laughs> That's vile. That's that disgusting. And then I'm the one the next day cleaning the pans, and I did a proper job, obviously, on that story itself. You said that to my face, would you? Moving on to the next story. Uh, this one's from Wombler in Wimbledon. Didn't they say that they want to be the new Anton Deck? Lol. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's a dog next to us. There's a picture of us two stood together. This is the front page of this press article. And you know the story already? Yeah. There's got to be more than one comment claiming that you want to be the next Anton Deck. There's a lot of Possibly, comments. Possibly, but th there is... I need a headline, roughly. You're a visual person, aren't you? Visual Curtis, learner. Yeah, I am. I, yeah. I just like... Curtis! <laughs> I am. I, I'm not... visualising it. Curtis. Uh, AJ and Curtis. Have you ever said in an interview you want to be the next Anton Deck? I've never said I want to be the next Anton Deck. I've multiple what? times said that they're at the pinnacle. Like, yeah. that's, that's who you set your target on. Yeah. Like, that's the mark. So, I think that comment's throwing you slightly. Let's go to yeah, uh, yeah. the next comment from Kimber Surprise in Glasgow. It's so bad, it's good. Absolutely comedy gold. Memes for days. Okay, we all know what this is. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time on this Hollyoaks. straight to the comments <laughs> episode to talk about the career highlight of AJ and it's Curtis gotta Pritchard. It's got to be something well to do with Hollyoaks. The headline is, AJ and Curtis Pritchard finally speak out amid Hollyoaks backlash. Brothers claim they had no idea that soap stars and viewers have branded their acting agonising to watch. That's a lie, that comment, because I... <laughs> 
knew how agonising it was to watch. <laughs> and I'm still I proud of it, from so day one. take it. I watched a thing on YouTube this morning called Try Not To Laugh Challenge, 19 minutes of AJ and Curtis on audio. Wow, somebody's <laughs> done an edit. And yes. It's a compilation of the best slash worst What, bits. AJ coming on to the merry-go-round? It's the merry-go-round. Yeah. Going, Trish thought she'd get married. Yeah. She doesn't know what's going on. Oh, and you going, what time to call this? Mum won't be happy. I, w- I want to hear the, the story. So when did you decide to go on Hollyoaks? How did it work? And We went on Hollyoaks when it was co- COVID time, so it was a yeah. really weird scenario. So that's like, thing. they just said there's a dancing role in Hollyoaks that's here, and we need somebody that's going to come and like steal Trish's dance school, basically. And right. a little black book. Yes. Of contact. So we're obviously yeah. dancing. It's a hell of a storyline. Yeah, it really. It's got is everything. You know what's so funny? I've, I've never been on a soap, and I actually did watch Hollyoaks when it was like back, back forever mm. when I was younger. I've never understood soap stories changing so quickly now i understand it we went on we had a whole script that you'd learn like you would do if you'd turn up something and then they went okay we're going to change the script every scene yeah, i was like how can you have a storybook that changes fluidly as you move it was hilarious you our acting you. no i will state our acting on that was gcse grade quality what was <laughs> the, <laughs> have you had any formal acting training either of you no not for that we had that, that was literally <laughs> thrown into the deep end that bad boy so but i think if you did then, have formal acting that. training yeah, no. you might want your money back yeah. so there's the scene of you particularly house in the house the house yeah, trish yeah, scene yeah, yeah. went multi multi viral oh, twitter multi. loved it i mean to be honest for Curse, hollyoaks wow. it, it got more oh, press for Holly Oaks. i mean they were like, delighted yeah. it was so Genuinely, bad it was good they said it got more press for hollyoaks than they've ever had before we were like well thank you you can have us back on when you want you yeah. Yeah. Off. yeah can we see if you'd be any better at acting if it was a radio show i'm yeah, going to give you the two <laughs> lines that you have to say right? have you just been googling the lines yeah, of, yeah, I'm, going, yeah. I'm finding the lines and i'm going to just see whether whether there's any improvement the fact of the matter the kurt's just gone to prepare so i'm going to play Body I'm going to play the original now it, to so. you, and then I want you oh, to. No. Then I want you <laughs> to. I want you to react to hearing the original, and we'll see if you've got any better since COVID. What would Mum say? True. Probably stop whinging. Trish. True, how's Trish? Okay, let's try that. So, quiet, please, and scene. I was beginning to think that you forgot about me. What would Mum say? Probably stop whinging. Yeah, true. Oh, how's Trish? She thought she was about to get engaged. Couldn't have been further from the truth. Oh, I loved it! <laughs> we're back! We're back! Sick. Bring us back! Oh, Nobody's yeah, killed us, us back. Yeah! We're here, we're here. You haven't killed us off. It, it Trish, is. is she still in? Yeah. <laughs> it is incredible how hard it is that you... But no one understands, I don't think, how actually hard it is to just be normal it's, it's, when you're acting. Acting is fucking so hard work. Hard, unless, it? Yeah. unless you're a kind of a actor. Yeah. Having said that, that was that was nativity worthy. I mean, that it's was good, yeah. I tried to, I tried to get exactly how we did it last time. <laughs> when you recorded it, did you think you'd done a good job? Like, did you think we smashed that? I thought it was cold outside. I thought yeah, you myself. weren't thinking about it too much. Yeah, no, I didn't really think of it too much. I knew that... <laughs> I just saw it's a very short part in there. Thing is, the one thing that I did on this, I was like, I got a deep dive into because I was like, Kurt, you've been streamed in India hundreds of millions of times. We're not like thousands, millions and millions. I was like, it's amazing. Why are we not like hitting that market? We still do get people come up to us and say, you know what? Your acting on Hollyoaks was amazing. We always Better get... Better than a lot of people on there. I think and that's I love them people, all right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what's really unfair is that it's been clipped out and you can take clips from any of those sites because <laughs> yeah. they're churning through episodes. Yeah. Yeah. EastEnders yeah. is filming oh, every yeah. single day. Yeah, that's completely yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Well, if you could have your time back, would you have done that again? Yes. Yeah. How much were you paid for it? Nothing. In pro rata to your millions of views, yes. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Yes. Nothing. Yeah. Because I genuinely thought, you know, this could be quite interesting just to give it a go and see what's what. Let's go. Let's see. Yeah. Do you think Hollyoaks did this on purpose? Did they know that you were going to be bad at acting and did they do that as a publicity stunt or was it just a That's a vicious but brilliant question. I'd say it's definitely it's a, a publicity question. stunt because they're bringing on two non-actors that are yeah. supposedly 100%. celebrities onto their programme. So it's a definite publicity It's a win-win stunt. for them. Yeah. Yeah. You're good. You get PR. Yeah. You're, you're bad, you get more PR. You're really yeah, good yeah. like us, and then you get even better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did we bring you laughter and joy? Yes. yes. Winning. Thank you. Well, with uh, all that excitement, I think we need a break. Perhaps we could do it as Hollyoaks characters. And now it's time <laughs> for break. How's <laughs> Trish? Hold your horses. 
Welcome back to Straight to the Comments with me, Archie. And me, Josh. Our guests this week are dancing reality stars and well-known actors, AJ and Curtis Pritchard. So you are you are brothers. Is it fair to say that AJ became famous sort of first? Yes. And then so, with Strictly yeah. Come Dancing, and then you went on Love Island and became even more famous. Yeah. Is there a competitiveness between you? No. Truthfully, because we sort of plan to work together so if I do more it's better for him if he does more it's better for me type thing because I've got this idea that like you have like a joint bank account in my head you, uh, you like... hell no. what, do you get a bit silly with money Curtis uh, no it, if it's a business money I ain't going to touch any of that stuff but my own money absolutely what's the most stupid thing you've ever bought with your own money I, I will tell you what and this is when I had oh, no well, money but I had no list. money I have <laughs> just done a I'm a dancer at this point and I've just done a demonstration a dance show in front of loads of people oh, as a this charity is, event this is, this is a Corker. Yeah. So we got paid five hundred pounds between me and my dance partner, and I had no, and I mean, I had no money at this yeah. point. And uh, it was an auction. We got paid the five hundred pounds. I just done my dance, and the auction thing happened after. And no one was bidding on one of these things. Oh God. So I thought to myself, oh, it's for charity. Come on, let's let's up it. So uh -huh. I go five hundred pounds, and then no one bids. <laughs> what What was the prize? A pair of boxing gloves. <laughs> no, it gets Sugar worse. Ray Leonard's boxing gloves. It gets though. worse. <laughs> But no, no seal proof, of improvement, yeah. No signature. So they could just be a pair of boxing gloves who somebody signed, <laughs> so you can't even sell them afterwards. Yeah. Someone went to JD Sports with a Sharpie and just squiggled on them. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm going to say that is probably one of the most stupidest things, but the money yeah. went there. to charity, so. Now, what's it like watching each other in other shows? So, AJ, when you were on I'm a Celeb, Curtis, what was it like watching your brother on the world's or the nation's biggest show? hard because i was doing slubs go dating at the time so we didn't not have the a tv show. Yeah, yeah no it isn't and i actually couldn't really watch him that much that's fine kurt doesn't watch my tv what about shows. when curtis was on love island oh i watched every single show i run his social media wherever i was in the world kept the news stories going because you were on one of the bigger series of like love island obviously it's always a massive show but it was very big Insane. when you were on it probably it was a... say possibly one of the bigger series yeah. producers came to me at the end and said you've got the most hours ever actually on the tv so who else were you island? with who were you coupled up with on our band? My journey was uh, with Amy to start with, then Casper Moore happened, and uh, my head turned to some other lady. <laughs> and so you, by the way, I've got to ask you this. Do they, is there some sort of brainwashing? Hold is there, is, is, Exactly. Is it. there a brainwashing that happens before where they say, you've got to say things like pull for a chat, turn head, and got to tell, are there like no. words you have to use? No, there isn't. But right, okay, so imagine you're in this environment where you're not allowed to talk about the outside world, anything yeah. that's going on. You're only allowed to talk about what's going on in there and who's there. Now, you just get told, like, oh, it's time. There's enough cameras for you to maybe pull Joanna for a conversation. Right. You know, go and grab her for a conversation. What was what was the food? I'm always interested in stuff you don't see on Cracking, camera, right? Cracking, lovely food. So oh, three, really? Three nice. meals a day? Well, two meals a day that are cooked, and then we can have breakfast, but we cook that ourselves. So we have a catering service come in for lunchtime and for dinner time. And they don't film that, so what happens there? No film in there, so we split the tables. We have a guy's table and a girl's table, so we're not allowed to talk about anything that's going on in the show, purely for the reason that, let's say, you and me are together, and then Ooh, yes. we're having dinner, and we have a massive argument, so we loved each other, and now we hate each other. Right. That would be a problem. On camera, they'll see they love each Script other now they hate doesn't. each other oh yeah they're a little bit split personality i've got a little list going down here so i'm um, smoking i'm not considering doing love island they've asked obviously many many times <laughs> uh, but i've smoked 20 a day how does that work so i, I believe in the first series they could smoke yes, in and there they showed and it. then they tried to make it more Can pg we just talk about the smoking thing yeah okay this really does pee me off when yeah. it comes down to tv yeah. shows because the smokers feel like they've got this hierarchy. Because they I know, know what you're going to say here. This is true. next time I do a TV show, I'm just going to say I smoke. Because yeah. smokers that don't non-smokers so, even say the smokers. We're doing I'm a slab or any show, even SAS. Yeah. I need to go have a smoke break. So they get to go out of the camera zone and out sit down wow. for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, have a cigarette, feel calm with themselves, whatever they want to do, and then come back into off, the show. This off. Mike's off like. I'm just going to say I smoke next time. Walk outside, light a cigarette, put it on the floor and just say, this is my meditation yeah, time. Like yeah. When you feel like you're trapped, sometimes that five, ten minutes. It can like, just be a really important you're, release. You're, you're, yeah. And it sounds so weird, but your safety net in all these shows, yeah. if you're ever going to do like big reality shows, is the toilet. That's yeah. the only place you can sit down on the toilet and nobody can get to you. Yeah. But there's still you're a camera, camera filming you on the it's, toilet. It's just a security camera. But right. you just sat there. And I that's want the rushes of that. Space. That would be a yeah. great show. A compilation of celebrities having a poo yeah. from the greatest reality shows of the last decade. Well, that wouldn't from be From Anne Widdicombe to AJ <laughs> Pritchard <laughs> from that security camera. That would be I'm a great Channel 5 show. <laughs> I guarantee a lot more happens than just that in the toilet. Well, yeah. what else? Well, it's the only place, for example, on Love Island you can go and relieve yourself in, in all Many matters. different kinds oh, of So, did you masturbate? How often did you masturbate on Love Island? Yeah. I think I did it once, truthfully. Only yeah. once? Yes, yeah. yeah. Did you have sex on Love Island? No. So, so you, you had one wank in nine weeks? Yes, yeah. 
And well, then was... 25 on the day that I got out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We should do, uh, there should be a gay love island. Yes. That would be good. Yeah. You I could think... split them into tops and bottoms. Mm-hmm. Casa Amor, that would, it, would, it would be chaos. Yeah. Wouldn't it be good? Yeah. Or yeah. a, a, a bi love island. A bi love island, that would be amazing. Be, yeah. the, the one. A thruple love island. Like, do you think it will move out of... Uh, Love Island is going to, I believe. Like, I think yes. like old Love Island would be great. Love Island yes. for the over sixties. I, I believe there will I think be the, a lot the of thing is, just this, on the Isle of Wight. With that concept of like any sort of dating show, it's like people love to watch people be inquisitive, and I think more strange the more weird it is. Like yeah. people are just like they do love it. They do. Okay, moving on to the next story. Uh, the first comment is from a Maddie girl from London. Couple of wet blankets. That was it. <laughs> That's a description of his bedroom on Love Island. <laughs> oh, yeah, should have dried them. It's not, it's not giving you a lot, that one. No, Let's go I, to uh, I don't know the next helpful. next comment from Twyford Lady, who's in Reading. Why not enrol in a self-defence class? Karate is great. This cannot be Could to have been do a with... story of us getting jumped in a nightclub. It, I was just about to say oh, that. Oh, I remember this. You, it you, can't be that story. It's that's, related to that. You, I, remember, I remember this. You went on this morning having, basically, your ability to turn what was essentially a very small nightclub fight oh, into a major national news story yes. to get airtime was seriously sensational and PR. I believe that actually got me Love Island really? as well I genuinely believe <laughs> so that so the story happened yeah. the story was someone was just a bit rude to you in a nightclub next morning you're on Lorraine this morning <laughs> front page of the papers uh, am I Mr. I thought AJ got punched or I, something so, so within, I ended within, up in hospital I had to have an operation on my knee um, it was really sad because we were in our local town so we'd gone to see our, our friends in a bar literally stood on dance floor dancing with two of our other friends, which are in the forces, actually. And they just went to the toilet, came, and um, eight people literally just jumped us. I was here, From AJ all there. sides. I got pushed. They all go to AJ. I just stand in front of AJ. Boom, boom, boom. And then you the, were just the body bag. And then the really sad thing was, so the bouncers all had body cams on. They turned the body cams off. The bouncers mm. shouted the names of the boys who ran out the back of the club. They knew exactly who they were. It was, it was really messed up. No, yeah. How was, do you feel yeah. now, you fucking wanker? Yeah, it was oh, fine, up. he got Love Island off the back of it. Was a, it was a real touchy <laughs> Punch subject. me, but it, it was you, really can, hard, yeah. you can punch me as much as you like if it gives me a media career like but I do, because I believe it put me onto the front page of the paper yeah. and they realised AJ Strictly, they always like to have somebody on Love Island with that like a little bit of a famous brother and stuff. They saw yeah. that me, he's not too bad looking, I'd say, boom, Love Island came. This particular headline is related to the story you just told, but that's not the full story. Uh, let's have the third comment from Anonymous, who lives in Unknown. All the haters spewing their own jealousy on here. Got the same attitude as the attackers, really. So something happened after this event, which made people um, call you a couple of wet blankets. No, I mean, you were close enough. The headline is, Strictly's AJ Pritchard hires bodyguard to make him feel safe again after he and his brother Curtis were attacked by eight yobs in club. Wasn't it to do with Tor? Wasn't it just the, our driver? That's what I think that was related to. I think it was because I... we had our driver and he walked around with us. So then people said that we'd hired a bodyguard. Um, uh, Kurt, I'm not going to lie, it looks a lot like AJ might have hired a bodyguard, <laughs> just based on his reaction. <laughs> or, or he just did, yeah. He just walked two steps behind what I mean, him. It, it, he looks just I was like... going to say, if anyone's over five foot tall, they look like a bodyguard <laughs> next to AJ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, did you hire a bodyguard? No, no. Have you ever had a bodyguard? No, no I've had quite like, a few. On like, yeah. Love Island, they give you yeah, a we close have, protection we have two agent each when straight we come afterwards. Two each to each person because you literally you come off that program like yeah. Beyonce. I, how, I under- how long do you get Beyonce? You're not quite like Beyonce. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this is why people then come off it and think yeah. that they are so amazing because you, you walk through the people airport and there's about, it, there's about. This is not the case. There's about 100, 200 people at the airport and they just jump on you. Yeah. Security well, that's because everybody knows you're on a flight coming home. Of course they're going to wait at the airport. This is what I'm saying. It's like coming out. So this is why people get really big head and this is why they give us security because people followers for at least a month after it everywhere you said that to me face would you on to the next story this is from sword of democles sword of damocles yeah which right. is a sword it's a phrase i can't be able to explain it gorgeous boys thought they were both the same height i'll take the one in the fun size in the fun size or the front size? i think fun, fun size i think, he I think he's size, talking yeah. about the pocket rocket aj yeah, pritchard yeah What's the fun? Oh, so that's the fun well, so side. Can I just say, can I just say yeah. the team here, that could very easily be a woman, but they've given him a very creepy voice. <laughs> sword of Damocles. God, I don't think a woman's calling herself Sword of Damocles. <laughs> it hey, could easily be. Could be. Could be. Have you ever been <laughs> described as a fun size? You know what? This is a first for me, and now I know. Let's go to comment number two from Mac73 in uh, central United Kingdom. Anton Deck, watch out, you are curtains. What? 
So this is another we're going to be Anton Deck story, which which apparently you guys haven't planted at all. <laughs> Anton the first Deck. Half. Were you excited when it appeared that Anton Deck's career might be over a few years ago? Yeah, AJ Curtis is Saturday Night Takeaway. <laughs> what, what's what's happening well right now is you are hearing a literal projection of Archie's hopes and dreams. <laughs> Let's go on to the next comment from Pocket Drogon in York. AJ was gorgeous in Strictly, but now, oh dear, somewhat cringeworthy. That's how you actually say it, millennials. Cringe is a noun, not an adjective. <laughs> Why are you giving them creepy game? They're, no. they're kind of people you'd meet in a gay sauna who spent like four days there going, oh, he's gorgeous. I mean, you, could have, you could have given them any voice and you've made them sound like utter creeps. Just perving on AJ. It's like talking about a show, but I don't know what the show would be other than Back to Hollyoaks again. Something post Strictly. It's not Hollyoaks. They, we've done that. So then you've done oh. like I'm a Slab and then you're doing... It was a very nice thing SAS. you did. Ah, oh, you do quite a lot of charity, charity work, don't you? We work. do loads yes. of charity work. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, yeah. Well, it was nicely ambitioned. I don't know if what you created was actually nice or not. Could it have been? Stand there we go. Yeah, there there we go. Well chess. done. Through lockdown, we thought nobody's doing anything. Let's try and get the nation dancing and let's try and just raise some money. Yeah, and just stand up get and dance. Up, dance and get weekly dance for classes. The NHS. Yeah. Yeah. I actually the, saw that. It was very yeah. good. The catchphrase was dance the COVID away, was it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. I don't think that well, was the catchphrase. That, no, <laughs> definitely was They didn't stand up and say dance the COVID away. It's not like the rain dance. Covid, Covid, go away, come back another day. I love the way Curtis went, yeah, yeah, no, that's it. Go away, yeah, we'll go uh, with that. Yeah. The headline was, former Strictly star AJ Pritchard and brother Curtis wear pyjamas as they teach first set of moves to their dress-up, dance, donate routine. Yeah, we did it in pyjamas, silly suits, and some other Just random, random stuff. things, I think. Yeah. So I yeah. lived in my pyjamas the whole of them months. Mm. Question, in the press, are you more often referred to as AJ's brother, or are you more often referred to as uh, Curtis's brother? Which way around depends does it Depends what go? the headline of the story depends. is. So it's yeah, not like... Yeah, vice no, versa. It really depends, yeah. And it depends what Democrats going to talk to us as well. Sometimes people will say, oh, you're AJ's brother or, oh, you're Curtis's brother. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. recently in an article, I got referred to as Archie's South African friend. So it said high-end posh magician and his South African friend. <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure out how this works because that upset me quite a bit. Well, get used to it. Well, we just do AJ and Curtis because alphabetical order, A and then C. Yeah. So also, yeah. Normally, if Curtis you're... and AJ sounds wrong. It doesn't roll right. Doesn't roll right. Right. Basically, I'm no, trying to get no, a sense of who the press anything. think generates more clicks, but you think it's a pretty even Who's had the worst press? I'm going to say me, possibly. You've had some of the funniest press. But that is because <laughs> I've come from a Love Island program and AJ came from Strictly Come Dancing. Yeah. So yeah. therefore, they just view you as two different people yeah. anyway. And they write stories in two different ways about you. Yeah, but the difference is, like, if you are coming from a show like Love Island and you've got nothing behind you, no profession, like, you are a, a professional dancer, you've got that, like, the respect is there. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I was going to say, it's quite cutting. Like, yeah. if, if you've not got a background, yeah. and I yeah. think that's some things that kind of sometimes, like, well, you should have a profession. Did you say that to my face, would you? On to the next story. Comment number one is from Georgia, 1970, in the West Midlands. She's ancient, then. Mm. AJ was right. They were filthy. That's not pants again, I was going to say, they his underwear. <laughs> well, let's go to the next comment from Catherine in Grimsby. Like father, like son, not likeable characters. I've seen your dad. He's very nice. How dare you talk about my father like that? The dad seems very friendly. Yeah, that's very nice. That is lovely. Let's go to the third comment from uh, Lanx Lord in Lancashire. Why would you name your kids after you? Makes it so confusing figuring out who's talking about who. People do think that you're called Adrian. Well, I'm not. I know. What I is your real name? My first name is Alex. Yeah. And my middle name is Joseph. Yeah. But and dad's just always called me AJ. AJ. This is going to be hard to get, so I'm going to give it to you. This is about an argument about dishes on I'm a Celeb, and the headline was, I'm a celebrity, Shane Ritchie's Shane son Ritchie. brands AJ Pritchard a little bitch Ooh. in furious Instagram video after dancer rowed with soap star over cleaning. Oh, brilliant, <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, <laughs> this one, yeah. What happened? So we had them mess tins, and obviously they're, they're metal, stainless steel, so if you've got a wire brush, you can clean them, so they're clean like anybody would want a yeah. clean dish. The passion in his voice here, guys. Yeah. He's still angry yeah. again. Yeah. No, yeah. It's obviously a scarring like, experience. No, but if you're going to clean something, you do the job properly, Yeah, and he, he obviously just cleaned them the night before, but didn't Especially in that environment like, as well. We, we, so yeah. throughout the day, we, there was lots of rats and stuff throughout in Wales, so if you left food out, the rats would come and they would have to bin everything. Revolting. So if, if a rat's kind of, it's the only reason why it's come to that area is if there's been food left yeah. on pan. So I cleaned it properly. And then I think on the outside, obviously the edit was like, you're exhausted, like you clean your pans. And the edit was me walking past him or something, like maybe looking at, towards him or in that direction. And I think the sun then made a whole thing of it. He did a right. PR jump, didn't he? Who is Shane Ritchie? 
He was Coronation Street. I'm being told yeah. he's an actor and comedian. There yeah. Are. So those of you like me who don't know who he is, he's an actor and comedian. What does his son do for a living? Who did Comment the Instagram about AJ video on Instagram, about I think. Not Scooby. Pretty much it. I do remember him jumping on that bandwagon as well, actually, straight away. I remember him commenting and really getting involved and being angry about it. Yeah. Went after the fun-sized brother. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, that is you guys done. Uh, thank you to AJ and Curtis for being our guest today. Uh, has that made you more or less likely to want to read the comments? <laughs> I've never read them anyway, so... <laughs> to Maybe I should try and remember the titles better. That's you, what I need to do. You know what? It's actually made me want to read some of them because some of them are quite good comments, actually. I'll give it to them. I will give it to them. Well, thank you to all our listeners out there in the podcast universe. Press the subscribe button if you like. Don't if you don't. And please say something hugely complimentary or aggressively unpleasant about us. Either way, please remember to always go... Straight to the comments. Ciao. Now we all know they're flesh and bone, the same blood, sweat and tears. So why do famous people seem to really grind some gears? Idiot! Waste of space. Why the hell are they wearing that? Who even are they? Stupid hair. They look a right off. So whenever you feel lost and need a common sense, there's one place we all know to go straight to the comments.